welcome back. My name's Newman. This is my life with plants. Today's blooms. We managed to catch another cactus, a tonus. Look at that rich yellow. This plant is a foreground plant when I bought it. It's starting to get a little cylindrical. This is because it's a really large plant. And it's been out here all winter in the full exposure to sunlight. Gets plenty of direct sun underneath this nylon net and we have many more buds that are already open. But we're lucky to catch one flower and um, I bought this as a already a full grown plant. So as far as cold goes, as long as it's got a dry atmosphere in the winter, like we are here in Japan, and you can have it outside to temperatures down to minus 8. And then next up is another Echinopsis, it just opened, give you an idea of the size of the flower, it's quite a decent size, it's very prolifically Flowering and pupping, pups like crazy. Need some water again, starting to shrivel a little bit. Um, fragrance, yes, it has fragrance too, so that's great. And this thing can attain huge dimensions. So I've seen these up to 50 centimeters and 20 centimeters wide, so they're pretty massive. Next up is the first flower of the Puntia humifusa. Beautiful, beautiful yellow. Very common in the US. Common, but I still like to grow it. I think it's a neat, easy growing of Puntioid. Let's put some more buds there. One, two, three. What else do we have? We have something that's almost ready to flower, and that is um, Hematococcus cetaspinus. This is my oldest plant. There's an offset down there. These are prolifically flowering, so they never stop flowering all summer long. And the flowers are a beautiful golden yellow with a with a red throat and very fragrant nice lemony fragrance okay now we can see these Gymnocolosseum saglionis flowers starting to open up sometimes they never open up fully because they're pressing up against the spines and we have one more let's try to push this flower out here I hope I'm focusing on it because I've got all this bright light around me it's hard to see yep very nice I'm going to do some pollinating today because I was trying to get seed and this one here needs some more water if I want it to flower looks like it's aborted a flower bud there a little bit too dry this uh, Mammillaria Humboldtii variety cespitosa in flower too. Nice easy grower, clump forming. What else do we have? Nothing else at the moment. I think that's about it. We do have a Gymnobaldianum <laughs> that is going to flower. Sorry about the camera moving around because I've got to move in all different directions. So that one is almost ready to flower. And this Gymnocolosseum uh, Mahanovici is about to open. This one is in bud. It's uh, Baruchi, one of the coldest, cold hardiest of Gymnocolosseums. And this, yeah, uh, this one here is about to flower again. And we 
also have this Rebutia that has flower buds on it and this Hypogea looks like it's got flower buds coming up on it it's a Copiapoa and Gymnocolisium monvale still has its bud they're probably all going to need a water again because it fully exposed to the sun with this net and they dry out quite quickly anyway I'm going to do a bit of repotting of some Echinopsis so that's all for today's blooming and we'll see you again next time thanks for watching, bye